Welcome back everyone as we count down to the World Championships as we go through the greatest World Darts Finals ever. Now this is the PDC and the BDO before the split and we've got 10 absolute classics to show you so buckle up and whilst you're here remember to sub if you're new. At 10 and it's the final from last year as Peter Wright took on Michael Smith. Wright started well and took this 1-2-4 on the ball to go 2-0 up. Smith would fight back though for 2-2 and then go 4-3 and 5-4 up. Double 18 for the set. That wrapped. You just have to open it. He does. And then that's when Peter Wright went absolutely berserk and averaged 108, 113 and 112 in the next three sets to take the title. Unreal standard of darts. One remains and that is Peter At 9, and it's 2017 for Michael Van Gerwen versus Gary Anderson. Start well with 107 averages apiece, and Anderson would take an early lead before MVG hits a vital double to stop Anderson going 3-1 up. MVG would then take control and go 5-2 up with this 1-2-5 finish. 5-2 would become 6-2, as Anderson just couldn't keep up with MVG's 108 average. And despite going 6-3, Michael Van Gerwen would win 7-3 on the ball. Es ist das Bullseye. Yeah, and that's it. Michael van Gerwen. At eight, it's Peter Wright. This time, his first title versus Michael van Gerwen in 2020. He flies out the blocks to go 2 0 up before hitting 96 for a 3 2 lead. He goes crazy in set six for 4 2. And then 6 3 up as MVG misses his doubles. Eventually, though, Wright gets his win versus Michael Van Gerwen and wins 7 3. This was his first world title after losing so many big finals before it. At 7, and it's 2018 and the year of Rob Cross. It's Phil Taylor's last ever match in the PDC versus newcomer Cross. Cross would continue his crazy form though and take out this 167 to go 2 0 up. All whilst averaging 108, by the way. He takes set 3 with a 153 and everything is simply going in. For a 153, absolutely yeah, astonishing right. stuff this from Rob Cross. Really Taylor pulls one back for 3 1, but Cross just pulls away again for 6 1. Cross averages 107 in this final to win 7 2. One off, if not the best final performance ever. For the world championship, the moment he's dreamt of. And Rob Cross. Six is the classic between Phil Taylor and John Park from 2003. They share the first 12 sets to go to a decider. Bear in mind that two years previously, Taylor smashed Part 7 0 in the final, so sweet revenge for Part, who took the deciding set to become a two time world champion. Five is all the way back to 1992 as Phil Taylor takes on Mike Gregory. Taylor misses double five for a 3 0 lead, allowing Gregory to take it out to get back in the match and then take 24 for a 3 2 lead. Before going 5 4 up. Taylor takes out 96 with Gregory on a finish to make it 5-5 and into a decider we go. Gregory goes 2-0 up in the decider but misses three darts for the title as Taylor takes it to a sudden death leg before winning that last leg. Heartbreak for Gregory but a classic match all the same. Four is back to 1983. Eric Bristow famously refuses the ball against young surprise finalist Keith Della, who sat on 138. We all know what happens next as Della takes it out to be champion in one of the biggest shocks ever. 12 for the title. Three is 2015 as Gary Anderson tried to win his first world title versus Phil Taylor. He starts well and goes 2-1 and then 3-1 up. Flows. Taylor hangs on though to get back to 3-3. Anderson had a lot of bad luck in this match, including this 180 bounce out. 
He would come back to win that set from 2-0 down, however. Before he goes within one at 6-4. But Taylor just won't go away and makes it 6-6 before going to a deciding set, which Anderson dominates to win his first world title. Number two is Taylor again, this time in 2004 versus Kevin Painter. It goes all the way to a deciding leg after a back and forth tussle. Taylor wins the ball and this would prove pivotal as Painter has a poor last leg and Phil takes it out to be champion again. Two fives to become world champ again. And number one can only be one game. It's the 2007 final between great rivals Phil Taylor and Raymond van Barneveld. Barneveld starts slowly and finds himself 3-0 down, which is not ideal when playing the greatest player to have ever lived. Taylor is then 1-16 on, but Barney thinks otherwise as he takes this 170 to kickstart his comeback for 3-1. Could manage this, this just might get him, set him up, and that's the 170, the top finish, Taylor can but small briefly. 3-1 becomes 3-2 and he's back in the game. Barney then goes 180 mad and hits 20 in this game in total to aid his revival. One is in. I just knew he is creaming the 100 averages all round, but Taylor extends his lead for 5-3 before Barney goes 180 mad again and gets it level at 5-5. Barnevelt came over to the PDC in February. He was ranked 144. That's his 10th level game. Double four for five apiece. He gets it done. Before edging ahead at 6-5. And with Barney sat on 24 for the title, Taylor needs 37 to go 6-6. Six, six. Sid Waddell with this classic line. You could hear the drip of oil off a chip. And before Taylor recovers from that shocking dart to hit double 16, and then it goes to 6-6. Six, six. He knows he'll be back even if he misses. He doesn't miss that six set. So... In the decider, Barney has three darts at 40 for the title. Where Topsy wants. Complete mess. Sheer nerves. 30. Sheer nerves there. But they all miss, and we go all the way to a deciding leg. The sudden coming up now. The deciding leg. Barney uses Taylor's dart as a guide at the bullseye, and this proves pivotal. And Barney takes out 40 to become PDC world champion. Tops he wants. And he gets it. greatest darts game of all time between two of the all-time great players. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you watch this one here as we continue our build up to the World Championships. Thanks for watching everyone, we'll see you on the next one.